Yes, that's biologists. We're, we're a kinky, dirty bunch. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm really excited to introduce to you the penultimate performer of our cabaret. Um, he's a really handsome man. You're going to love him. Stare deep into his eyes and it looks like looking into chipped glacial ice. It's mesmerising. And he's a big part of why this whole event exists because he um, has helped train me and many of the other acts today. So can we get a big round of applause for Dr. Steve Cross! and there'll be some poetry there in the intermission <laughs> for all the people who really, really, really hate fun. My name is Steve Cross. I am a professional science communicator. However, 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 I'm not like all the other science communicators that you'll see here at the Palatial Children's Science Festival. No, I am special and I am different. And the thing that is different about me is that I know fuck all science. <laughs> and they really, it makes me stand out in a crowded marketplace of science communicators. So tonight, what I'm going to try and do with you is I'm going to try and become a better science communicator, right? So if you've been at the festival, have any of you been to anything at the festival where somebody has done a scientific demonstration? Give me a cheer. Yeah. Good. So five in the front row, everyone else, hardcore cabaret fans. <laughs> You're just like, listen, if they ain't going naked, I ain't going. Um, which is good. Right, so cabaret fans, this will be the first scientific demonstration that you've ever seen, right? I just need to get some apparatus, because I'm a professional science communicator. So I've got a special microphone stand that has a little camera on it. I'm going to plug my little camera in, and then I'm going to pray to the gods, i.e. the techs, and hope that some, because they're the most powerful people at this, you know? We all think we know about science, but knowing about science is worth nothing compared to knowing how a VGA lead works. <laughs> went straight in earlier, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Crazy! <laughs> no, I just need to turn it on. Um, listen, I, I'm a bit older than some of the acts. It can take a while to get things turned on. Oh, look, there we are. Isn't that strange? Um, let me... How can I magically fix that? Oh, I know. That's made it worse. That's made it better. Are we the right way up now? Yeah! for you a famous science experiment. And the science experiment that I'm going to recreate was carried out in 2013. And I'm now going to read you the description of this scientific experiment from the website io9.com. None of you will know it. io9.com is the sort of website that wakes up on a Monday morning and thinks, oh, I wish I had the journalistic integrity of BuzzFeed. <laughs> So, um, I, this, is, this is the experiment I'm going to recreate. <clears throat> Chibahim Amalaha, an award-winning student at the University of Lagos, is claiming that he's disproved, that's some pretty passive-aggressive quote marks from io9.com there, he has disproved gay marriage through science, and he used the power of magnets to do so. <laughs> His groundbreaking work is backed by the university. Uh, Amalaha says his experiments show that the north and south poles of magnets are attracted to each other. Oh, that's pretty cutting edge science there. <laughs> uh, none of us knew that. No, that's the real stuff. That's the edge of the story. But same poles repel each other. Astoundingly, this means that man cannot attract another man because they are the same, and a woman should not attract a woman because they are the same. So this is the experiment I'm going to try to recreate. I've bought myself some of those really big, like schools teaching magnets, so that you can see what I'm doing. I've also got my little camera. I've also got a little screen in front of me that shows you how many millions of me there are. <laughs> Quite like that. Learning the days gone by. <laughs> Only a joke for people alive in the 80s, that one. Um, good, so I will now move so you can see me in the camera. So let's try and recreate this experiment. I just want to show you my amazing magnets. Uh, here are my amazing magnets. You'll see that one end is red. It's got a little N on, which stands for North. One side is blue, got a little S, stands for South. 
Until last night, these were quite a good electoral map of England. <laughs> thank you. Uh, especially thank you to the people who got it after all the other people. <laughs> Some of whom I'm hoping actually got it, rather than just laughing because everyone else was. So they were like, oh, that's a so um, we're gonna we're gonna take N to represent one one of the genders that Amanaha talked about. We're gonna take S to represent the other one. We're not gonna assume which is which because it doesn't matter for these purposes. So first of all, I'd like to test the theory that when you take two different poles, two different genders, they're naturally attracted. So we'll try that one first. Oh, I'll do one in the microphone. Here we go, for anyone who does it too, you can hear. Those are attracted straight away. Fair enough. Okay, so we've recreated the first part of the experiment. <laughs> Some of you can immediately notice a problem, which is that every north pole of a magnet that I have has a south pole of a magnet stuck to its back facing <laughs> the other way. Which starts to undermine the theory a little bit. It's like, yes, men and women are attracted to each other, but only if the man has a woman glued to his back facing outwards <laughs> and the woman has a man glued to her back face and you presumably the reason they're attracted to each other is to discuss where the nearest A and E is so that they can get the people separated from their backs. Um, let's try the other way around. Let's recreate Chibahim's amazing experiment that, that North cannot attract North. So I'll just try and bring these together. Just some of you are just thinking, Steve, you're just not very strong. <laughs> Which is fair. Um, I'll just keep pushing. Wait, 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 I'll hold the magnets a bit better. Some of you, like physicists in the room, there's a really great debate in physics. Can you produce a single poled magnet? Can you produce a magnet that doesn't have another pole stuck to the back of it? I'll show you now how you do that. I'll try a bit more forcefully to push these together. I don't know if you can see this, but when you really push them together, they act like they're not going to go together, and then one just jumps around the back and clamps <laughs> Okay, so we've got some problems with the model straight away. Uh, I'm now going to use, uh, what I'm going to do is to try, because you're looking at me, all of you, and you're like, Steve, the thing is, despite what we thought in primary school, there's no form of sex that's this. <laughs> Um, and these are bar magnets, so you, you're not recreating things properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of the more advanced scientific apparatus that we can get in the UK that you can't get in Lagos to test this theory better. I have, pun intended, ring magnets. Now, I want to draw your attention just to the top of the box here, where in little letters it says, Magical Magnetic Force. Because even the people who make magnets don't know how the fuck magnets work. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get these ring magnets out. We'll have a little look. Um, so they will now, the, I, I'm now going to do the only bit of this entire set which I could do on Blue Peter. So I want a massive like, ooh, as if you're a Royal Institution Christmas Lectures audience. And I haven't already done this nine times with the director asking to get another angle. So this is the only bit of this whole thing I could do. This is what these magnets are meant to show you. Can I get an ooh now? Isn't that incredible? Right, we only need one. So, uh, in most forms of sex, uh, one of the genders, I'm not going to say which one, because either can do it, is asked to produce a sticky out bit. <laughs> the other one is asked to produce, a, we're going to call it a sticky in bit. Um, <laughs> a hole of some kind. That's quite a lot of sex, depending on... The, so, what I'm going to try and do, first of all, using my sticky out bit and my sticky in bit, and we'll, we'll use the blue sticky out bit, because um, that just seems appropriate, is I'm going to try and recreate heterosexual sex. So we're going to get the South Pole, we'll bring it to the North Pole, and we'll just see what happens. I mean, those of you who have heterosexual sex, you'll recognise this immediately. This is, I mean, this is our favourite thing, isn't it, heterosexual sex havers? Oh, Sarah, why is your face really bruised? Oh, it was my boyfriend's birthday last night. Just repeatedly putting the sticky out thing into the flesh around the sticky out. Um, so that's a bit of a challenge for this theory. Uh,
let's try the other way around. If we take the sticky out bit and we take the sticky in bit and we take them from the same colour, they're both blue now, see what happens. I mean, presumably this isn't going to work either. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but it kind of pretends. Oh, and then it goes straight into the middle. And also it goes in at quite an interesting angle. I don't know if you've noticed that. Uh, it can go the other way, because it's like you can just turn one human over. And the whole thing works properly. So the sad thing about all of this is I've set out to disprove gay marriage. I have accidentally disproved heterosexual sex. <laughs> I wanted to just give uh, heterosexual people in the room one little ray of hope. And it's not that I'm going to reveal Jigs Boson's hotel room number, but I do Please. know it. <laughs> heterosexual people, there is only one way left, according to the magnets, that you can have sex. I'm going to ask Jigs to come on stage and demonstrate this with me for all of you. So, heterosexual people, like, you thought the rest of the night was risque. This is the only form of sex that is left to all of us. <laughs> That was the reason why not.